Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today with a quick and easy recipe for the perfect Valentine's Day treat. Today I'm going to be making marbled butter cookies. And these cookies are crisp and crunchy and so delicious. So you're going to need some sugar, an egg, butter, flour, some gel food color, and some heart-shaped cookie cutters. So if you wanna see how this recipe comes together, stay tuned. So I've got my butter in the bowl, and my butter is softened and at room temperature, as is my egg that I'm going to be using too. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to cream my butter and my sugar. And I will make sure to have the recipe in the description box. So I'm gonna cream this first. I'm gonna add in my egg. And my flour. So it's all mixed together, and as you can see, the dough holds, to get, holds together um, really well. This is a good dough for rolling out, which of course is what we're gonna do today, but it's also a really good cookie press dough too. So I'm just gonna get in there with my hands just to make sure everything is well combined. And I'm going to grab a couple of bowls and I am going to divide this mixture into thirds. So here is my original bowl and then here is a bowl number two and bowl number three. So with these two bowls, I'm going to add my food gel coloring. Um, and so I am using pink and purple. You can use whatever colors you want to use. And so I'm going to start out with this pink. And you're just going to color, I mean, add as much color as you see fit. So I'm just going to start out with about that much. I'm going to use a spoon and mix it in. Okay, so this is the color that I was looking for. It's really hard to say how much color I used because the gel is really different than the liquid dye. With the liquid dye, you know, you have the little drops and you can say, oh, I used five drops. But as you can see, you know, with the gel, it just kind of like pours out. So again, it's just kind of trial and error. You're just gonna have to add dye, stir it up, and just get the color that you want. So here's the pink, and I'm gonna start on the purple. Okay, and here is the purple dough. So let me show you how to put all of this together. So what we're gonna do now is take our dough and you're just gonna roll it into balls and just set it aside just like this. So I'm not gonna do all of this on camera. I'm gonna finish this up and then I will be right back. So I have rolled all of my dough into little balls and on my baking mat on the bottom, I sprinkled it with powdered sugar because I don't like to roll out my cookies in flour. I don't like my cookies to taste floury. So I um, put a little bit of powdered sugar on my baking mat and then I tried to place the balls um, kind of strategically, different colors. Now there may be a couple that are right next to each other like the same color. It wasn't on purpose, it just happened that way. But you do kind of want to um, you know, alternate the colors. That's gonna give you a better marbled effect. So um, let's get started. We're just gonna roll these out just like this. Got my dough all rolled out. I'm just gonna take my cookie cutters 
So here are the cookies on my cookie sheet and I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop these in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes or until they are nice and golden brown. While these are in the oven, I am going to re-roll the rest of this dough and I'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay, so if you were wondering what the cookie dough looks like when you have to re-roll it, this is what it looks like. It actually looks better, kind of more like a tie-dyed um, effect. So this is batch number two that I'm getting ready to pop into the oven. So here are both batches of the cookies. I let them cool completely, then I put them on this plate. So this cookie um, and the rest of them are underneath, but this cookie is from the original batch. As you can see, um, the colors are clearly defined. And these cookies right here are from the second batch that I had to re-roll to get the second batch. Um, so if you prefer this look, which is kind of more like a tie-dyed look, so if you prefer this look, then what you can do when you have all of your balls um, from the different doughs, um, when you have them all together, just go ahead and mix them up right then and there. Um, just combine them right then and there and roll them out. Don't keep them separate like I initially did. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It's a really simple recipe. Let me show you the back of the cookie. So as you can see, it's nice and golden brown. And the cookie recipe that I shared with you is a family recipe that we have used for years for all of our uh, Christmas butter cookies. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. But if you like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.